God can restore. In the 7th century BC, in the early years of King Josiah, the prophet Joel recorded in the book that bears his name that a great plague came upon the land of Judah. He records the great destruction that was wrought in the land as a result of this plague. Today, biblical scholars are divided on whether this was a literal plague or it was symbolic of a military attack that was launched on Judah. Nevertheless, the land of Judah was on the brink of total destruction and the people were in great distress. In the midst of this terror, in the midst of this destruction, this suffering, God called his people to repentance. He invited them to turn to him with prayer and with fasting. And as they heeded this call, he made a, prom a promise. And this promise is recorded in Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and verse 26. He said to his people, and I will restore unto you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, the caterpillar, and the palmerworm, my great army which I sent among you. God continues to share with them the great abundance that he wants to return to the land. God promised to move his people from nothing to plenty, from drought to showers of blessing, from spiritual declension to spiritual prosperity. Maybe today, you're feeling as if you're going through a plague. Scripture presents to us a God that can more than handle plagues, whether physical or spiritual. He is calling you today to draw closer to Him in prayer, yea, even in fasting. And as you heed this call, God will give you a first-hand experience that He can make all things new. My friend, God can restore.